Thank you, General Johnson. Wasn't that amazing? <laughs> Class of 2019 graduate Philip Ross was selected to deliver this year's student address. The Class of 2019 is over 10,000 strong. Philip was selected to share his personal experience as a representative of this strong, diverse, and impressive graduating class. I welcome Philip to the podium to deliver the 2019 student address. Philip? President Boston, trustees, alumni, distinguished guests, faculty and staff, family, friends, fellow graduates, welcome and thank you for being here at this exciting and probably long-awaited moment. How's everyone doing this morning? <laughs> if you're feeling even half as great as I'm feeling, I'm excited for you as well. What a great experience at APUS, right? <laughs> okay. you know, as I look around the room, I see people of all ages poised to graduate. Congratulations to all of you. If you're younger than me, you have a great head start. <laughs> If you're one of my contemporaries, kudos to you for advancing or using your degree to launch a new one. The university experience has been an incredible one for me, as I'm sure it has been for you. The professors, classmates, and curriculum are second to none. I know that we are all prepared for what our future holds, armed with the knowledge, discipline, and organizational skills that we all needed to be successful in our online degree programs. Many people witnessed how much I took my schooling to heart and how I embraced my studies. I was at times obsessed with the subjects I was learning, and this prompted many inquiries about the pursuit of a PhD. Now, while I love learning, chances are I will not be doing so. There's already one Dr. Phil, and he virtually ruined the name, so I'll just stick with the title of Master Phil as I'm known in my circles. <laughs> People often speak about motivation, but the focus needs to be on drive. Motivation serves as a fantastic means to set a goal. However, drive is the force that enables achievement. The internal drive, what's in your heart and, and deep in your soul is the spark that ignites the fuel, propelling a person to forge ahead and not to be deterred. That is drive. This mechanism must come from inside, and all of us have the capability we simply need to find the drivers and embrace them. I had several drivers in the pursuit of my master's degree. One major driver occurred in 2001. I had an office on the 25th floor of Tower 2 in the World Trade Center, and by the grace of God, my boss permitted me to come in late that day. If that stroke of luck doesn't make you feel like your life is meant for something bigger, nothing can. But a very short time after surviving the 9-11 travesty, I found myself divorced, unemployed, with mounting bills, and pulling myself out of this spiraling downward process was no easy road to hoe. People only see the success that I'm enjoying, but they know little of the failures and dark times that were endured prior. I had to remind myself over and over that my children were watching and that I was meant for something bigger. I persevered, and here I am today. Another central driver was my father, who was a great athlete and a powerful Marine. Unfortunately, there came a time when he struggled with overindulging, unhealthy eating habits, and a sedentary lifestyle. His life was cut short, and losing him has created many ripple effects in my family. He wasn't able to see my children compete in sports or graduate high school. My youngest child never even had the opportunity to meet a grandfather. He wasn't around to see me publish my first book or witness me becoming the first in our family to attain a graduate degree. These moments are what make life special. 
They are all what we look back at with laughter and nostalgia and tears of joy. My greatest goal is to help inspire healthy, active, and happy lives so other families don't have to look back and say, I wish they could see this. This degree will help me achieve my goal. Sedentary lifestyle has surpassed smoking as the number one preventable cause of death in the United States. As a health and wellness professional, I feel it is my duty to do what I am able to help make a difference and make America fit again. Now, things happen for a reason. So I knew that my life was spared, my job terminated, my marriage ended was for a bigger purpose. True, there were times when I wanted to throw in the towel, but my resolve and belief in my capabilities enabled me to forge ahead. No matter how many times I stumbled and fell, I was determined to stay on the path. So here I stand in front of you with a, in a happy marriage with a new wife, healthy, successful children, a master's degree, a flourishing business, an author of two books, and with a job as an educator. I am proof positive that you are your greatest asset. My story may be unique to me, but I know it's not unique in the world. Fellow graduates, we all have come here today with our own stories, our own set of circumstances. So find your drivers, embrace them, and pursue your goals. There, there are 1,440 minutes in every day. It's up to you to make the most of each one of them. The, the attainment of an advanced degree will open new doors for all of us. In my particular case, my degree in sports and exercise science will help me in my pursuit of promoting a healthy and active lifestyle for people of all walks of life. This is not an end, but a beginning for all of us. Now we have a responsibility to serve as role models to our families, friends, and peers, and to represent our communities. We need to walk the talk in an era when most only talk the talk. It's up to us to serve as an example and inspire others to believe and achieve. I want to say thank you to my professors, classmates, and my support network for making it possible to secure this degree. Thank you, APUS, and congratulations once again to everyone here on a job well done. Now go and enjoy the rest of the commencement. Thank you.